Things really don't get much better, to be honest. We're currently driving through some of the most spectacular countryside that New South Wales, or Australia for that matter, has to offer. We're in the Byron hinterlands. I have been talking this place up that I want to take the crew to tonight for pizza. It's the best pizza I've ever had in the world. We're going out to Mullumbimby to visit the boys at Milk and Honey. This I am looking forward to. You got no idea how excited I am for this. Not only did we get to eat this pizza, but Timmy's been good enough to put me on the paddle for a little bit. So in five minutes, I'll be covered in sweat. Hey, Timmy. Hey, Andy, how are you, mate? How's things? Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah? How you going? Mate, good. I just want to have a little chat to you, maybe yeah. get in a bit of action. That could be a bit of fun, like yeah. getting you to cook one. Hey, why pizza? You know, like, used to be at Tets with the boys, and then you fully just went, hey, well. Um, it's just a cool job. Yeah. Because you're here on that thing. Yeah, all something. the time. I've never, I've never seen anyone else spin the pizzas. It's always here. Yeah. I oh, know, it's just taking me to a good place. Yeah. So we bought a, about 10 acres a couple of years ago. Nice. You know, we've been raising our own pigs and we, we've got our own growing program. Like a lot of the produce that we use yeah, here. Right. So it's a lot about that sort of lifestyle yeah. as well. As, yeah. And then just like Sweating the nature your of the... nuts off in here. Nature of the fire. Is, yeah. It just sort of makes you be more diverse but in a simple way. It's a beautiful way of cooking, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit similar to surfing, actually, yeah. pardon me. Like, you're constantly thinking about the weather. Right. Because the wood reacts differently on a humid day than it does on really? the dry. Yeah, totally. The <laughs> flavour combos are also pretty bloody epic as you're well. You're liking them? Yeah. yeah. Like, how do, you, how do you come up with those? Is it just sort of what you're digging at the time, or...? Pretty much. Yeah. Like, the mushroom's always on there. The pineapple. The pineapple. Well, I mean, that one was kind of started as a bit of a joke. Like, one of the guys that... So, like, that's that probably my favourite, eh? That it's a joke. Like, a few years ago, he worked at a fruit shop. Yeah. And he was like, can we make a, you know, ham and pineapple? And I was like, yeah, cool, let's, like... Yeah. See what we come up with. So we, you know, we had pancetta, we did a bit of pineapple, had to play around with it, fermented some chilies for the... Yeah. Uh, I guess we just got our little... Flavor, yeah. Profile that all the pieces are kind of similar. Yeah, and, you know they're hot and salty and yeah. hard. And definitely driven by what's going on in the garden. And it has you know, to do the flip. cooking because, like, mate, it's a little bit darker than usual. Like, it's just amazing. Yeah, I guess that's some of the charm. We do get into a bit of trouble about that occasionally. Like do, people... do you get a few sent back? Uh, we don't really take them back anymore. Yeah, we just say that's just what we do. Yeah. Do you want to roll, roll them out and... Mate, put me to work. Well, they're pretty wet. Yeah. So if you just, like, pat it out a bit... I'll just give it a little roll. Just a little roll over. Bit of semolina down there. And then just flick it over onto there. That's it, and just stretch it out at the smith. Yep, that's cool. Ruskin will uh, top it for you. I'm shitting myself. <laughs> so you got to put that on there, as simple as that sounds. So what I do... I just lift it up and slip it under. Yeah. What happens if I'm left-handed? Well, I don't know. Do it with the left? That would just mean you just get extra cooked in front of the fire every night. Right, yeah. And then grab the board. How does this happen now? Uh, yeah, go. There you go. Uh, yeah, not just bad. Put... So Where do you want him? Where that big black mark is Yeah, there? just sort of in the front. That's it. Beautiful. And away we go. Uh. These ones, they take like, I don't know, seven, ten minutes, something like that. Really? Yeah. Like, it's pretty slow at the start. Yeah. So, yeah, that'll do. Maybe um, bring it out and we'll put the herbs and the cheese on it. So I'll we'll have a bit of fresh, fresh oregano. Yeah. All right, so just put that back in the corner where you had it. What's your base look like, Andy? Yeah. Oh, that looks cool. all right. That'll do. Mate, have you got any hair on your arms or <laughs> anything like that? That's just cooked straight off. Are we done? Yeah, that looks good. Sick. Now she gets Start tossed on the tray ring. and Tyler will cut it up. How's that? Do you want to cook another one? Or? Yeah, let's cook another one. Right, sure. Take the night off, Timmy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He looks pretty comfy. That's it. This is a bit I'm worried about. No, that's good. Yeah, that'll do. Sick. Yeah, we've got a little natural here. Nice. Yeah. 
Ready, Timmy? All ready. Coming at ya. <laughs> Head, Mate, have you been in there? Yeah. <laughs> Fully just made my first pizza at Milk and Honey. Got the sweats hard, but my god, I can't wait to eat this fatty. Right, uh, so this one, charred onions, gruyere cheese, rosemary, and uh, I made that one, so. Yeah.